Hello everyone and welcome to our online Sunday School lesson. My name is Paul Grebstead and joining me is April and Noah. Um, so this week we are no, no longer able to do Superbook episodes. Um, I'm having some complications with YouTube so those aren't going to be happening any longer. If you do want to continue to watch those videos, um, just go to superbook.net I believe or just Google Superbook. There's a lot of fun videos and uh, games you can play on the, on the website so it's super fun. Um, today we are going to be trying something different. We have a few uh, samples here, um, some liquids, and we're going to have our two lovely guests um, try them out and give us a few um, descriptions on what they're tasting. So if you guys want to grab your first few cups right there. No, that one. <laughs> okay, give it a little sip. Tell me what you feel. I knew it. Got pumped. <laughs> so what was that? Oh, baking soda. So I swallowed it. No, you did not. I saw you spit it out. I swallowed. I bit. swallowed it. So these two lovely just had a uh, water from the Dead Sea. So um, it is the lowest point on Earth, and all the water just rushes to that point right in Jerusalem, and um, it turns to like super salty. So you guys want to try the next cup? Yes. Is it as great as the first one? Pretty good. All right, what are we thinking, Noah? The okay, bottle is right next really to you. Really washes it out. <laughs> the first cup. So April, what are you thinking? Sweet. I think it's Coca Cola. Oh my goodness, it's right next. <laughs> no right way. Next to you. <laughs> College <laughs> graduate. Here's what for your last cup. I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Good? Oh. What is it, Noah? I believe it's water. Mm -hmm. I think. I agree. Great. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining me, April and Noah. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so I hope you liked our little experiment about soda and water and that Dead Sea water. Um... I think my favorite is probably going to be Coca-Cola just because I love sugary sweets and um, I just love the taste of Coke, especially over water, which is, you know, nothing really that special. But um, if I'm dehydrated and really needing some to quench my thirst, um, soda is actually going to make me dehydrated. So the more soda I drink, the more thirsty I'll become. And um, unlike water, where obviously that's going to quench my thirst and I'm going to feel a lot better. The Bible actually talks a lot about thirst and water. Um, today I'm going to be reading from John 4, verse 13. So Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water that I give him will never thirst again. And that water that I give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. So, um... That's really important to remember, it, and it's super true about life too. So if I choose a path that isn't God, um, no matter how eye-catching it is or sweet or um, passionate I am about it, it will never fulfill me. We have this giant God-sized hole, heart, or hole in our heart uh, that can only be fulfilled by God. Um, there's a lot of times we run to stuff like this. Uh, like for me, it was sports. I really wanted to be good in sports so people would see me. And um, I, that, I thought that would really bring me pride and joy and happiness, being better than others. Um, but the only thing it did was it made me wanting more and more and more until I would break my bones and I was hurting my muscles and back because I was lifting so much and exercising so much and I was just worn down. Um, it, sports could never s satisfy me can never really make me happy. Um, the only thing that can really make you happy and the only thing that really quenches your thirst um, for joy is God and is this water, this everlasting water. Um, so I don't know whatever it is for you, but God is the only path that will satisfy you. Every other path is going to lead you astray, lead you wanting more, and you'll never find enough. Um, so I think it's just a really important message to remember and ways we can continue to try and get this everlasting water 
um, is prayer, reading your Bibles, just talking to God, learning more about God from others, um, and then sharing that word too, sharing God's love. So I just pray and hope that you can continue to share God's love and continue to learn about him throughout your week, especially in quarantine. I know um, a lot of us have a lot more free time, so this is a great time to just really dive into the word and um, prayer a lot more. So I just hope you have a great rest of your week and be thinking about ways you can dive in a little deeper. So thank you very much.